If you are thin, but you actually have a belly, you sir are skinny fat. The problem is that you're probably doing exactly the opposite of what you need to do in order to lose that gut. What I mean is that if you're truly skinny fat, and let's throw up a picture, bam, right here, that's skinny fat. Let's throw up another picture of someone who thinks they're skinny fat. See, that's a younger version of myself. I actually wasn't skinny fat, I was just skinny. So if you're truly skinny fat, like in the first photo, the real problem is that you've probably been starving yourself for far too long, you know, running too much, doing too much cardiovascular work, and your exercise, you're being a little pussy about. You know, you're not exercising hard enough. So it's three problems, right? You're not eating enough calories, you're starving yourself, you're doing too much cardio, and most importantly, your exercise isn't regimented and it's not smart. You're not making progress in it. In other words, you're not lifting that damn weight. If you're skinny fat, it tells me you're too much of a wuss just to become fat. Like what's holding you back? A couple Big Macs? Here are some of the key points I'd want to emphasize for anyone that's skinny fat. If you truly want to get abs, and I mean those ripped abs, uh, Brad Pitt and Fight Club, doesn't really matter. One of those starving Abercrombie and bitch models. You know, if you want abs like that, it's going to take you from where you are at least a year to develop those abdominal tight core muscles. Because you see, right now, you probably have thin abdominal muscles, and if you want those truly thick Muscles, like anything else, they have to be trained on a frequent basis. So if you're not currently doing abdominal work, you'll need to do abdominal work. However, you have that layer of fat, which is mainly for skinny fat individuals, visceral fat, which surrounds your organs, the deadly type. That's the type that you have to lose. So even if you develop your abs in the period of the following year, you're going to have to lose that fat. Now, how do you lose that fat? The problem, as I said before, is you're eating too little. Your body's in starvation mode. It's not holding on to any muscle. It's holding on to that last little bit of fat. It's survival fat. It's a visceral fat. What you need to do is, it, first of all, increase your calories. Actually, I should say, first of all, you should figure out how many calories you're fucking eating in the first place. So find that number out, first of all. Get on a solid website like MyFitnessPal, and you know, you'd know you input your goal for the following year that you want to build muscle. You'll get a new caloric goal. You know, For most individuals, this might be anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 calories. You will have to slowly increase your calories while also increasing your exercise volume with resistance training. Because if you already saw my G-Flex video, which I'll throw up here, you'll know that if you exercise more and if you eat more, you have a better body composition. You'll eliminate the skinny fat paradox. You'll build muscle and you'll lose a little bit of fat. You will look better because another problem for a lot of skinny fat individuals is that their gut protrudes because they have so little muscle and their waist might still be small. You know, you might have a 31, 32 inch waist, but because you don't have any muscle around you, it really sticks out and it becomes noticeable. The next key point is as you're eating more, you have to exercise more. And I'm talking about resistance training. Stop all the long, you know, slow jogs on the beach. Start doing some more intense shit. You gotta perturb your body to change. Doing too much cardiovascular work will send a signal to your body that you don't give a fuck about your muscle because it's not intense enough to preserve your muscle. You need to incorporate more resistance training at least three to five times a week. And for a lot of people, you know, they might say, hey, Chef Buff, I already work out a couple times a week. But do you really exercise? Do you really train? Your goal should be progressive overload, getting better. There's a lot of programs out there. I have a program. There's plenty of free ones out there that you can use. But the question you have to ask yourself is in the last several weeks, have I made progress in the gym? If the answer is yes, you're getting better, you know, your bench press is going up, your squat, your deadlift, military press, all your weights are going up, then you're doing all right. You gotta keep pursuing progressive overload. But if you've plateaued, that's one of the main reasons that you're skinny fat, is that you're not doing something that's challenging your body. You're doing the same old shit. You're stuck in a rut. You gotta change it up. If you're skinny fat, you should just go all in. Why be skinny and fat? Just be fat. Let's go. 1-800 your local pizza shop get on it bro i mean i made a similar video to this a couple months ago and it was really popular and it helped out a lot of people but i get this question asked a lot and if i had to give one last parting piece of advice is that guys it takes time and you have to be focused remember a little bit small changes over a big period of time will produce big results so working out a little bit more eating a little bit more, training your abs directly, and making sure that the cardiovascular work you do is intense is all you need to do. Give it a year and then reflect back on it. Don't be a little bitch. Buff Army, that's the video. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, 
share with friends, and subscribe. And if I see any of my subscribers pouting their lips like they're Derek Zoolander, you can get a roundhouse kick straight in the jaw. It's cold hard fat. Uh -huh.